the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks I got the Field Purple Jordan 12 scheduled to release Saturday, July 29th so as usual, we're going to take a close to each other, look at the shoe from all angles. After that, I'm going to put them on and step around them so I can see they look on feet. Then I'm going to share my opinion on the shoe, and then I'll talk about release predictions, reselling predictions, and all that stuff. So let's get right to it. Nice tumbled leather on these. really giving me like a purple flu game or bread 12s vibe especially with the leather it's like exactly how it is on those got purple stitching on the tongue gold eyelets It is a real nice shade of purple. Looks beautiful. And especially like together with that black. It's crazy. And I gotta say, these definitely look better in person. Not that they don't look great on camera in my opinion, but in person they even better. Black 23 on the back. Got purple and yellow text right here. And a yellow jump man with the surrounding purple. I think they did a great job with the color placement back here. Looks good. All black interior and a purple jumpman on the insole, which doesn't really look that purple right now because of the lighting. But trust me, it's purple. I mean, what other color would it be <laughs> other than yellow? That's all I need is fire. We got the taxi 12 thing going on here. More yellow over here towards the top. Black jump man, which we saw in the beginning with the toe. And the purple just looks beautiful. I was talking about the purple on the upper. But this purple down here, because it's a different material, looks even better. And once again, the camera is not doing it justice. Like, you see this outsole in person? You know what I'm talking about. They come in this regular OG style 12s box. We've been getting most 12s in lately. Usual paper on the inside. And here's the box label. Air Jordan 12 Retro, black and field purple. Here's a quick all around view of the shoe. Say they look on feet. You ain't see me, I've been getting to it. Okay. Cop the switch and I don't even use it. Cause I'm really done with the games now. I've been too busy to play. She mad, she texting me K. I saw what a hundred turned into a K. Get that return in a day. If I really need it, I'm finding a way. When the conversation is money, a lot of these niggas don't know what to say. For fucking investment. A nigga like me gon' get to the money. My hustle is never in question. If you see me driving, you know that I own it. I hop out the whip and I'm flexing. These are so crazy. I absolutely love them. Definite car for me. I'm about to go wear these like now as soon as i'm done with this video like i was saying earlier i really like the shade of purple they use i guess they figured we got enough core purple pairs so they decided to give us a different shade so for those of you that have these or another core purple jordan and were wondering how the field purple compares to the core purple so you see the field purple is a more vibrant shade you know kind of looks more like exciting core purple is a little darker it's not a big difference it's a noticeable difference but it's not really that crazy me personally i definitely like the field purple better than the core purple 
I really like this shade of purple. Like this is this is sexy. Not that these aren't sexy. You know, I, I like these. Now, if you've ever seen the Gary Payton player exclusive Jordan 12s, I know he's got a couple. He's got a white and yellow pair, like a mustardy yellow or white and gold, whatever you want to call it. Then he's got an away version, a black and yellow pair or black and gold, same mustard shade, which look just like the University Gold 12. If you watch my review on those, I believe I compared those to those in that review so check that out but he also has a black and purple pair of pe 12s and these are almost just like those if you look at the picture you can see the leather's a little different the uh stitching right here is yellow on the pe instead of purple like it is here you know they say the glove on the side you know a little minor stuff like that but as you can see these are pretty much just like a general release version of those or you could say they made the bread 12s or the flu game 12s whatever you want to call them purple and then added a twist to taxi 12 you know like on the outsole and up here with the gold eyelets i think these would have been nice and maybe even better with silver eyelets instead of gold the gold is tough but i don't know i think the silver would go crazy but yeah anyway these are od fire they should be a great match with a lakers jersey or lakers apparel see a gary payton lakers jersey would be tough you know just because these resemble the pe so much just a heads up for those of you who don't know or never owned a pair of 12s before Jordan 12s do run slightly big. Not OD though. Like, I still personally go with my true size 9.5 on 12s because they don't run that big. But they are a little bit more spacious than, let's just say, like a Jordan 3 or Jordan 4 or something else that runs like true to size. Just not as spacious as like a Jordan 5 or Jordan 6. These run more like a Jordan 7 or a Jordan 13 as far as like, you know, extra space is concerned. Now, these shouldn't be that hard to get, but I'm pretty sure they'll sell out on release day. They'll probably resell pretty similar to the way the University Gold or the Concord Jordan 12s did. Resellers could make some money flipping these nothing crazy but if you have the right local clientele it may be worth your time i'm thinking they'll resell for around like 230 to 270 depending on size smaller sizes being closer to like 230 240 and bigger sizes being closer to like 260 270 these could be a decent hold. Not your ideal sneaker investment, but 12s have been doing pretty well lately in that regard, so I don't see why a nice colorway like this wouldn't do the same. Right now, the way the market is, Jordan 4s are obviously the best shoe to invest in at the moment, but on almost all Jordan 4 releases, if you don't have some type of plug or a bot or something, realistically, how many pairs are you about to hit for retail? Maybe like one or two men's sizes, a couple GS sizes, if you're lucky. And even if you do just get one pair, that's fine. But if you wanted to get more pairs, if you wanted to make a bigger investment than just a $200 investment, and you wanted to spend a lot of money and really make your money grow. With Jordan 4s, like I said, unless you have some type of plug or bar or something, you're gonna have to pay over retail, which is still worth it in the long run for a lot of them, but if you wanted to make a large investment at a lower cost, a shoe like this gives you that opportunity. What I'm trying to say is if you're looking to invest in multiple pairs, you have a much better shot in getting multiple pairs of these at retail than you do on your average Jordan 4 release. Because if you look at the Concord 12s, you look at the price history, they did well. But that was a shoe. I don't know if y'all remember. Concord 12s were real easy to get at one point. I do believe they sold out on release day, but either way, like they restocked numerous times. And I remember pairs were sitting because at one point that market was at like 220 And since they had no resale value at the time, people weren't buying them. So if that happens to these and you wanted to invest in them, you have the opportunity to buy damn near a full size run from a retailer you know if you got it like that and then you're able to sit on them so I don't mean to confuse y'all and make it seem like I'm saying this is a better investment than Thunder 4s or, you know, any other 4s because chances are it's not going to be. But yeah, I think I get what I'm saying. Good luck to anybody that's trying to cop a pair of these to wear. I wish you the best of luck and get them in your size for retail. If this video is helpful and formal in any way, I really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in more early reviews like this or any other sneaker-related content, please do us both a favor and subscribe to my channel. Tap the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and make sure it's set to all. That way, when I put a new video out, you get notified and you won't miss out on anything. Thank you all for watching. Everybody, please stay safe and healthy out there and I'll see you next time.